Yep, Jamie, so this is just outside uh, Phoenix City Hall, and there are 94 employee names that are etched into the wall here. And today, three more were added, a Phoenix fireman and two Phoenix police officers. This is what Never Forget looks like. Today is another expression of how we never forget the sacrifice of people dedicated to public service. I can't look. Carry Today, dozens marched in front of City Hall. Louis J. Hanscom. Ann L. Murder. All to honor the lives of people whose names are permanently etched on these walls. It's a chance for the families and friends of those who died in the line of service to come back and for us to say thank you for their service. The Phoenix Employee Memorial is in its 30th year and back in person for the first time since 2020. The feelings that we have of lost comrades and, and fellow officers uh, and other city officials uh, is, is critically important and it really it just uh, gives an excl exclamation point to, to community and what community means. 94 names are on this memorial, and today, three more names were added. Today, we've got one firefighter, um, Mike Martin, who lost his life to occupational cancer. Um, we also have uh, Mark Aker, who also passed away last year. He was a Phoenix Police Department uh, officer. While some of the newly added names are recent, others, like Phoenix Police Officer David Starr Johnson, have been a long time coming. Part of the uh, challenge for bringing Star back to life in sense is piecing together records from that far back. Officer Star died in the line of duty 80 years ago in 1944. He was shot by an off-duty officer during a traffic stop. We're Star's family, that's who's left, and that's incumbent upon us to kind of carry on his name and carry on his legacy. While it's times like these that are difficult for our community, in between this rock wall are glass stones that are built up strong. We will not get over the loss of a close loved one or a friend. We will learn to live with it. We will heal and rebuild ourselves around the loss we have suffered. We will be whole again. And there currently is a documentary uh, for Officer Starr, uh -huh. that man that we talked about that was killed uh, nearly 80 years ago. Mm. So you can find that on our website, azfamily.com, and that was done by the Phoenix Police Department. Yeah, whenever you're out there, I like to take a look at the names and just think about those people who yeah. gave in that way. It was a beautiful, beautiful tribute yeah. out there. And um, obviously a lot of names, but a great way for people to go there and really memorialize all these people that lost their mm -hmm. lives. Michaela, thank so, you. Thanks, Jamie.